Bonjour, comment allez-vous? Hello, how are you? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Learn French with Anubhav. If you have already subscribed to my channel, press the bell icon to get the latest updates. In today's class, we are going to continue with CBSE sample paper class 10th, French 2022-23. And in the previous sample paper video, we covered the half portion of grammar section. So today we are going to cover the next half. Right. And hence, this is the part 4 of the sample paper. All my other videos based on this particular sample paper for this year are present in the playlist titled Class 10 French 2022-23. The link to the playlist is provided in the description box below. Now, one more thing that I am yet to do for Class 10 specifically is that to create a playlist that will contain all the grammar videos and all the revision videos that like I uploaded many revision videos last year as well right for the last batch so they will be also helpful right so I will create one wholesome uh, playlist that creates everything oh not that creates that contains everything okay related to grammar all the concept definition videos and all the revision videos right and in future also I will be uploading few revision videos for this batch so those videos also will be added there itself right so need not to worry about grammar uh, I will be once that playlist has been created I will be putting that playlist link in the description box so you can check that out right so in the first part of grammar section we covered till question number sixth we did both a and b right now we are to discuss from question number seven question number seven a part or b part like you have to do either of the two so we are going to discuss every question, right? So A part is remplissez les blanc par les adjectifs ou les pronoms possessifs. Right. So you need to decide which blanks will be having possessive adjectives and which blank will be having uh, possessive pronouns. Okay. What's the difference between the two? Pronoun is what? That avoids uh, that is used to avoid the repetition of a noun. Right. By replacing it, we use a pronoun. And adjective is what? That gives away the quality, that tells about the quality, right? Or the characteristics of something. So a, a possessive adjective is what? It is the adjective of possession, right? Because possession is also an adjective, isn't it? So, first one, we are starting to discuss the answers, right? Question number seven. Question number seven, we have a part. A part, okay, 7A, A. Okay, that's how the questions are numbered. So, first is, avez-vous terminé dash travail? Now, one more thing I would like to make clear, that in a blank, there could be more than one answers possible as well. But we will be discussing one one answers each, right? Uh, that will be the best answer, isn't it? And in few cases, there's only one answer possible. Okay. So, avez-vous terminé dash travail? Now, have you completed? Avez-vous? We are uh, referring with the subject vous. Then, pronoun will be what? Votre travail. It could have been like this also. That have you done our work? Right. Avez-vous terminé notre travail? Have you completed our work? Right. So, to, be, to avoid such sort of confusion, you can go for go with vote though right have you completed or have you uh, ended your work vote travail right so a part the first plank will be vote the second blank monsieur dupont a déjà fini dash there's no noun after the blank Indicating what? Pronoun possessive. We need to use the pronoun here. Right. So, Mr. Dupont has already finished his work. He has finished, he has already finished his. Right. So, le sien. Why le sien? Travail is masculine singular. That's why. B part. We have, uh, vous pouvez vous servir de dash voiture. See? Dash et tombe en pan. So you can use a card if your car has fallen uh, or pan. A tombe means to fall, but 
tombe en pan is like getting out of order, right? So it's not functioning. So you can take a car in case your car is not functioning, right? So note what you here it should be note the you can take our car, right? It could have been my car as well. You can take my car. You can take his car, right? But uh, both is fine. Note the I mean. So first blank needs to have note the, but the second one will be having a fixed answer, which is the pronoun la votre. Yours. If yours is not functioning, right? La votre feminine singular, right? What you? Nous invito dash ami et nos vono voza invite dash. So our Okay, we invite our friends. Nous invitons. Of course, we will invite our friends, right? Nous invitons nos amis. N O S no. Adjective possessive for what? First person uh, plural. And uh, when the first person plural is the possessor, and uh, the noun with which we are replacing. Is which we, uh, for which we are using is plural, right? Uh, a no voisin and our neighbors invite theirs, right? So, uh, masculine singular pronoun, pronoun possessive, and uh, who will be the possessor? Third person plural, right? No voisin, third person plural. So, leler. Perfect. Talking about the part, we have uh, utilize dash crayon. It you utilize dash. Very easy. I use my pencils and you use yours. So, first blank will be MES, the adjective possessive. MES, when the possessor is first person singular and the noun for which we are using is plural. MES is the possessive adjective that we use. And then we have the in the next blank, letia. Possessor is two, and uh, the noun with which we are replacing is in masculine, plural, hence we used letia. Right. Talking about e part, e part we have here. The last one for this particular part of question number seven. Si je compare nos robes, dash et plus long que dash. So if I compare our dresses, Dash a plus long, like for comparison, there is no uh, noun after the blank, indicating both will be having pronouns, right? So mine is longer than yours, okay? So la mienne a plus long que la tienne. So first blank will be la mienne, second will be la tienne. Again, it could be la vôtre as well, but better stick to one. Sorry, question number seven, part B. Again, it's pronouns, but a different category, adjective and pronoun, both demonstrative. Right, this, these, these ones, those, that one, right, this one here, that one there. That's what we are going to do now. Okay, so complete avec les adjectives ou les pronouns demonstrative pronouns, we know. Words that are used to avoid the repetition of a noun, right, and adjectives. Bring out the qualities of a noun or an object. Right. So, let's proceed with it. And the answers are pretty, uh, it's pretty easy to think of that where we should put what. Because generally after the pronoun, we are not having any noun after the blank. Right. You can follow this sort of general notion. Because before the, uh, after the adjective, there needs to be the noun. Isn't it? Anyways. To him, dash libre. You like these books? Right. Adjective demonstrative for plural. These books? Right. So, first blank, say. Second blank, moi, je préfère dash qui sont sur la chaise. Me, I prefer the ones that are on the chair. Libre, masculine, plural. 
So, masculine plural uh, pronoun demonstrative, sir, C E U X, sir. B part, we have cette maison est plus grande que dash de mon frère. This house, adjective demonstrative, this house, so cette maison, C E T T E, maison. Though it does not end with an E, but it's an exception, it is feminine singular. So, set maison. Et plus grande que celle de mon frère. Of course, after blank, there is no maison. Right. It's, so, it should be replaced by the pronoun demonstrative. So, pronoun demonstrative for feminine singular is what? Cell, C E W L E, isn't it? C part, we have, je n'aime pas dash crayon. I don't like this pencil. Adjective demonstrative, sir, masculine singular, crayon. Montez-moi dash. Show me this one here. Celui-ci. Or you can write celui-là as well. Show me that one there. Right. So you can write celui-ci here. Celui-ci. This one here. Montez-moi celui-ci. Hyphen is important when writing. D part we have dash robe na sopa belle. These dresses are not beautiful. These dresses, plural noun, CES. Chosisson dash. Okay, these dresses are not good. Choose those ones. Those ones, feminine plural, those ones, not these ones, those ones. So, cell, C E W L E S, hyphen, la, those one there. Okay, so, cell, la. Last one is pretty easy. De quel garçon parlez-vous? To which boy, about which boy you are speaking? This one here or that one there? Celui-ci ou celui-là? Easy. Garçon. Masculine singular. So, salui, salui si, ou salui la. With this, we complete question number seven. Now we are to do few more questions. Of course, I guess three questions are left. Yes, three questions are left. Nice. So, question number eight is also having an internal choice. Either you have to do the for A part or as for the sample before, you have to do the A part or the B part. Right? But we will be discussing all the parts. Right? Because we are discussing the entire solution of the sample paper. Uh, I have to rub it off uh, of the complete thing because next question involves writing long, long sentences. In fact, two questions are such. So, yeah, I need to erase it. No other option. Okay, what do we have here, by the way? Let's read the question first. Then only we can proceed. Uh, okay, but question number 8, part A, option A. Relier les phrases avec les pronoms relatifs simples ou composés. Again, a pronoun question, but this time we have relative pronouns. Relative pronouns... Are what? The pronouns to join two phrases into one? Right. While preventing the repetition of a noun that is getting repeated twice or more times. Right. Those are relative, pronoun relative, and pronoun relative are of two types. First type being the simple ones, ke, ki, u, and do, and the composé ones are numerous. Right. Some are there which are formed with the preposition a, some are there which are formed with the preposition the, and some are there which are formed with the other prepositions. For example, su, devant, derrière. Right. So that's what we are going to do in this exercise. Question number 8a. Question number 8a, part a. Je vous prête la voiture, full stop, mon père me l'avait donné. Okay, so I am lending you a car, full stop, my father gave me it, gave it to me, okay. So, 
L apostrophe here is the direct object pronoun for love what you. If we are using a pronoun relative in this sentence, of course that L apostrophe will go away. For sure. Right. How interesting. A pronoun is replacing a pronoun. But yeah, we need to do it. Why? To join these two sentences. So it needs to be done. So, je vous prête la voiture comme au père m'avait donné. L apostrophe gone. So, ma becomes M apostrophe now. L apostrophe is gone. The direct object pronoun is gone now. Because in place of that, we have used the simple pronoun relative that is que. Que. Que is put generally before the when there is a subject after it. And qi is generally put when there is no subject, when there is directly the verb after it. Right. So, well, you need, you definitely need to make a choice because it's not like for any sentence you can use both uh, simple pronoun relative and compose pronoun relative. Compose in that in compose we have a preposition attached to it, right? Be it a, be it the, or be it any other preposition. So, je vous prête la voiture. Mon père m'avait donné. I hope this portion will be visible in the recording. I really hope that. B part, we have voila le bâtiment dash on our gare. La voiture devant le bâtiment. Devant. In the sentence only, you have the preposition indicating what. You can use composé here, pronoun relative composé with the bon. For what? Le bâtiment, because it's repeating twice. So, le bâtiment, masculine singular, de bon lequel? Right, easy. So, if you are putting de bon lequel, the pronoun, then of course you need not to write de bon le bâtiment again, isn't it? So, the answer will be, voilà le bâtiment. Uh oh. Ah, I smashed it. Voila le bâtiment. Devant lequel? On a gardé. We parked the car. Easy. Very easy. C part. We have la maison est très pratique. Tu habites dans la maison. In this type of question, you can change slightly change the position of the words to make it more to make it sound even more better. One option was la maison est très pratique dans laquelle tu habites. Mm, a little weird, isn't it? Like the house is pratique. Pratique is what practiced. Not sure about it. Anyways, and then you have the full stop, and then you are putting the pronoun instead in which you live. Rather, it should be like la maison in which you live is like this, in that way. So, la maison dans laquelle here's the pronoun, pronoun relative composé dans laquelle. Tu habites et très pratique. Right. Perfect. Nice. We have the D part now. Ce sont les sacs. Max y a mis toutes ses affaires. Okay. So these are the bags. Max. Max, uh, E, the pronoun Y is there. Y is used for what? Uh, the bags, right. Uh, Ami, tout ses affaires. So, dans lesquels should be the answer. Why? Because you put things inside the bag, right, in the bag. So, dans. So, ce sont les sacs. Ce sont les sacs dans lesquels uh, 
of course now the pronoun will go away max e won't be coming max a me max a me tooth says affair perfect the last part la photo est très belle il parle de cette photo so the photo is very beautiful uh they are speaking about this photo so of which from which about which for that what's the pronoun relative sample it's don d o n t don so la photo don il parle et très belle that should be the ideal formation of the sentence la photo don il parle et très belle perfect question number 8 part b okay we have pronoun personnel plus we have pronoun unique as well anyways that's great so vous êtes allé au cinéma avec dash ce soir là after the preposition pronoun unique at the end of the statement right vous êtes allé au cinéma avec a uh, avec a uh, masculine plural right vos pardon vos pardon masculine plural now i know that wo pardon means uh, a female and a male but like uh, this was thought uh like a few years back that uh, i know it sounds a bit wrong but that's how it works as of now we can't do anything that we need to generalize it into masculine plural that's how it's done so yeah it's a bit unfair but okay we have to write like this so similarly if there are like two friends one is a m i a m i and the other one is a m i e s which means feminine if we are to write about them together we will say a m i s simply masculine plural we will generalize it into like that what can be done i mean that's the generally ex- accepted thing in the language so yeah and the uh, feminine plural will be only when all of them are like feminine like uh, two girls three girls are like friends then we will say les amis a m i e s like that ale o cinema avec a ce soir la B part Nicole a envoyé des lettres à son ami foncé à son ami foncé is underlined à son ami foncé person preceded by the preposition a indicating what indirect object pronoun coi complement d'objet and direct right for singular that is lui placement will be what before the past participle so Nicole lui a rencontré lui a oh god it's envoyé sorry 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 very sorry for that envoyé nicole lui a envoyé des lettres easy very easy yes it is very easy for sure c part we have je rencontre okay i'll add the next slide je rencontre ma tante au marché le weekend dernier au marché place preceded by Contact the article with a, indicating what? E, the pronoun y, e, and ma tante, simply ma tante. There's no preposition in front. Direct object pronoun, right? So, first will be the subject, then will be ma tante, feminine singular. So la, direct object pronoun, complement object direct. Then e, but e, a vowel. So it will become l apostrophe. It's l, okay, small l. L apostrophe Y Jolie, Jolie. Then the past participle Jolie a rencontré. That's all. Oh yeah, le vacant dernier will also come for sure. So le le vacant dernier. I again I hope that this portion is visible in the recording. I really hope that 
today i'm doing the recording in some other room that's why i really hope that the text is appearing on the in the recording deepak sale director ki a invite l'employe au dîner it is the director it is him say lui l u y oh ho oh. it's getting merged why like this and yeah say lui say lui qui la invite l apostrophe for l'employe la l apostrophe why because the next verb is a with a which is a vowel avoir third person singular la invite au dîner perfect then we have e part vous êtes plus grand que vos sœurs you are very taller very tall then you are more tall sorry not very more tall comparative is here right then vos sœurs vos sœurs is underlined so pronotonique for feminine singular e l l e s right so i am writing the full statement vous êtes plus grand qu'u apostrophe because it begins with a vowel the next word e l l e s right and the last one f part f part we have ils ont bu beaucoup de limonade à la soirée a lot of lemonade so quantity en right so il en ont bu beaucoup à la soirée il ils ont ils ont ou en pronoun past participles uh, sorry auxiliary verb then the past participle oh i think i a few minutes back in one of these answers i said like this as the uh, past participle really sorry for that really sorry the pronoun comes before the auxiliary verb right do i wrote it correct but anyways it comes before the auxiliary verb right not the past participle past participle comes after the auxiliary verb so yeah uh, ils ont au bu i'm talking about affirmative okay ils ont au bu beaucoup like boku cannot be replaced the quantity needs to be mentioned right only the noun is getting replaced quantity is not getting replaced right so ils ont bu boku à la soirée perfect yes and now the last question finally last question this video it got a bit longer i guess maybe 30 minutes or something but anyways it's fine we are discussing each and every portion we are having discussions on the answer so it's perfect i i mean okay i can't say it myself that these things are perfect but okay i hope these videos will be helpful for you while preparation right that's what i can say and need not to say the credit for the question paper the sample paper of course goes to cvsc right and the people who made the question paper question paper is really good i must say and it's just that i'm discussing the answers here that's all so question number 9 a b c d e f g you need to attempt only five we will do all the parts that's something different so that's another thing we are doing everything so il est nécessaire que subjonctif right all the seven parts we need to do with subjonctif perfect so if you are well versed with the subjonctif exceptions and formation of subjunctive this thing is going to be very easy right and if you find some difficulties and of course my videos are there exceptions of subjunctive and the normal subjunctive right for the regular verbs so il est nécessaire it is necessary that you come with our family to veni this the verb veni is one of the exceptions so to vien il faut 
Kavu at two is an exception, so ye as O Y E Z. Wu, so ye calm. It is it is a must that you become calm or you must be calm. So wu, so ye. C part we have fair again an exception. Fair means to do. So jemere bien. I would like well that you put more effort. Right. So fast with ill third person. Singular. This is a false conjugation, right? Then we have il suet the con sabwa is the verb, uh, or is treated as a third person singular when we are conjugating a verb, right? So uh, the impersonal subject pronoun. Or sash l'importance we know the importance of the school life. So sash sabwa, right? Then we have mirai work se paro mirai wants that her parents ai. Alle is a subjunctive with third person plural. A I L L E N T. Uh, go to France uh, the next month. Notre Dame souhaite que nous prenions. Okay, I read the answer. Sorry. Prendre is the verb. So prenions. Uh, P R E N is the stem, and then you add I U N S. So prenions regulièrement nos médicaments. So prenions. And the last one we have, il est important que tu dash ton travail ce soir. So it is important that you finish your work this evening. So fini is the verb. Fini is the subjunctive with tu. F I N I S S yes. Right. With this grammar portion completed, in the next video we are going to discuss the uh, comprehension portion. Okay. So yeah, say to Pujuri, that's all for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Learn from Children Work. And if you have any doubt or suggestion, you may write that in the comment section below. You may also like my Facebook page by the same name, Learn from Children Work. See you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Go to Bua Nulipa, Kuala Lumpur, Zelamur.